So this ride is destination nowhere in particular. I don't know if you're like me, but when I see the sun, I just want to get on a bike and ride. And I think it's a perfect opportunity to uh, just to have a bit of a chat, a bit of a yarn. It's about 12 degrees in Melbourne right now. Good enough for me. Okay, so like I said, I've, I've really got nowhere to go. I'm just going to ride around for an hour and um, bring up a few topics and discuss the reason or the reasons why I ride the pros versus the cons and if you're like me then um, there's not a lot of cons but there's a couple I mean let's face it if there are if there were more cons than pros then we wouldn't be riding but I'm just going to discuss my opinion on why I ride I mean everybody else is different everyone else has their different reasons and whatever I think we'll start with um, the way it makes me feel free like nothing else can that sense of freedom um, you just can't can't beat that freedom and if you're, you're a rider then you totally get what I'm saying if you're not it's going to be a little bit hard, harder to, uh, to understand what we feel when we ride I mean, there is a short period of time when we forget about everything else and we're, we're so focused and busy thinking about what's going on around us on the road while we're riding that um, everything else sort of falls falls to the way and most times you know under, under today's pressure the pressure of life it, it can get to it can get to you at times when I get on my bike I, I kind of reset it resets me so if I don't ride for a little while, then um, I start to get a bit grumpy, and you know I, I, I need it. It's, it's for me. It's like a uh, an antidepressant. Well, actually, it, it is an antidepressant. Without um, taking any medication, it is a form of medication for me. It's um, it does a lot for me. And like I said, just forgetting about life, just. Just for a short period of time sometimes that's all it takes that's probably one of the biggest pros for me and being part of a uh, a social MC I haven't been in any kind of any other like a copper any other groups that um that see you for for what you are and don't care about what you do and you know there, there are no politics the, the the, the brotherhood, the family environment in my club anyway, that's Highway Thunder we're a very uh, very close knit group and uh, to be honest there was a, a very dark period in my life where I um, I needed an outlet, I needed I needed someone, I needed something and for me the club the club was there at the club rescued me so um, I'm very fortunate and I'm very lucky to be part of such a uh, an amazing group of people you know there are no politics there's, there's no um, there's no rubbish we're all a very close-knit family the, the brotherhood and the sisterhood and if you haven't experienced that then you won't know what I'm talking about but many others would it's a beautiful thing. It really is. But yeah, I mean, the, the guys and the girls, they're, they're always there for me. And we're there for each other. And to be very honest, you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I had have gotten through it. I don't, I don't know how I would have got through it. So um, that's a very big plus, a very big pro for me. And I'm sure that I speak on behalf of everybody else that's in our group, in our social motorcycle club. Amazing group of people. And it's not only our group, it's, it's other groups as well. The other groups that we, uh, that we meet up 
occasionally there are other um, MCs as well and they're all the same the brotherhood is there we, we greet each other like we haven't seen each other for a very long time even though when we do see each other it, it doesn't change so I think that's amazing I, I haven't experienced any other group any other groups that, uh, that are like that particularly in the, uh, the industry that I, that I am in what, what you do defines you and that's for me that's, that's not entirely true my highway thunder family some of them don't even know what I do and to them it doesn't matter and that's 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 why it's so beautiful I mean a lot of the other guys it doesn't matter to me what matters is who you are and what's on the inside so moving on with the pros every time I ride it's a different kind of feeling I'm the kind of person that, um, that gets bored with things very quickly. I can't, I can't sit still. I've got to keep moving, keep changing. I mean, it's never boring. There's never a, a time where I haven't enjoyed being on the bike. It's always been fun, always been different. Always, always awesome. And as far as as far as the bike is concerned, the, bike that, the bikes that I ride, I do change them up a lot. I mean, who doesn't? So it's never the same, it's, it's always different, it's always changing. I mean, surely there are other things in life that, that make me happy, that I'm, I'm satisfied doing. My job is one of those things I'm very fortunate to be. It's not even a job, it's, um, it's something that I'm passionate about and and I love doing so I don't even classify it as as being a job so I'm very fortunate and I'm very grateful to be in the industry that I'm in although COVID has really slowed business down but it just means that I've had more time to do other things as well as the day-to-day -day. I've used the time productively I believe I, th I think I have a lot of home renovations uh, it's kind of made me think outside the square from a business point of view as well and it's kind of given me the opportunity to um, to do this to, to set up a, a situation where I can vlog while I ride so I think mentally not earning the money I mean there's money coming in but it's not a lot of money um, not like by all means not like we're uh, we're used to but but mentally that hasn't really affected me I've, I've, I've thought positively and I've used the time productively I think that's important and it's also important not to take anything or anyone for granted I mean, my job is my life it's my love I love it just as much as I love riding and I'm just as passionate but on a positive note it looks like should all be returning well, my industry anyway will be returning back to normal in about six to eight weeks I believe but nobody really knows what's really going to happen but if it doesn't happen I'll just continue doing what I'm doing loving life and riding as much as I can there's a plane on the move it's promising awesome so some more pros for me every Thursday night when we were permitted to we all meet all different crews meet and we have a meal together and just chat about life things that happen to us things that we experienced through the week that we hadn't seen each other so that's with our our MC our group and other groups as well I love my Thursday nights. Thursday nights are up. Uh, I look forward. And we hope to be returning. Returning back to our Thursday night ritual soon. I mean they're starting to to make 
announcements about lifting certain restrictions. I mean, it's not um, it's not where we go. We go to a, uh, a hamburger place. It's the company, the company that uh, we meet with that matters, and we hadn't uh, we hadn't been allowed to do that for for a while. So I'm really missing that. And our weekly rides as well with the club. I look forward to, to riding. We'll go to different locations. Come on, mate. We stop for a meal. We ride somewhere. Stop for a meal. The guys have beers or whatever. I don't drink. But again, it's the, the fact that um, that we're getting together. I mean, the riding is one thing, but the company, it just, um, it just adds, adds to everything else. I mean, every ride day is a great day. I mean, in the warmer days, in the warmer seasons here, we do, we do it every week. But in winter, uh, rain permitting, so we could go a couple of weeks or even a month. If it rains on, on ride day, then we, d we simply don't ride. I can ride in the cold, but being cold and wet, yeah, it's not um, it's not nice. So I'm uh, always checking the weather, and if there's an opportunity for a ride, then I'm all over it. And to be honest, the night before ride day. Um, I'm sure the, the rest of the guys don't know this, but I don't sleep. <laughs> I'm so excited about riding the next day that um, I struggle to, to sleep. It might sound silly, and maybe it is, but it's just the way I, I am, I guess. So some more pros about riding. Registration used to be a lot cheaper to to register and pay your registration annually but that's slowly crept up over the years I mean it's still cheaper to to ride and pay like to pay your, your registration the motorcycle registration but um, than a car compared to a car so yeah it's it is cheaper in terms of registration petrol not necessarily cheaper but but you get more more K's, I guess, for for the dollar. It cost me seventeen dollars to fill this, and um, well, we better slow down. And I get about well, I haven't I haven't actually done it, but I get about three hundred for seventeen dollars. I think that's pretty economical. <laughs> riding in the city, riding through the city, in Victoria, it is legal to, to filter traffic and what that means is you can ride in between cars stationary or moving cars up to 30 kilometers an hour so anything over 30 kilometers an hour becomes illegal for instance if you are if you're in traffic and cars are stopped at a traffic light it is perfectly legal to filter the traffic to ride in between the cars at up to 30 kilometers an hour. So anything over 30 kilometers an hour becomes illegal. So that's a plus. In a car, you obviously can't do that. So that's a, a big plus for, against for city, city driving. I hate driving my car through the city. It drives me insane. Any time of the day. I'd much rather be on the bike where I can filter. It means that I get where I want to go uh, quicker, faster. Parking as well. In Victoria you can legally put your bike, park your bike on a footpath as long as it's not signed otherwise it is legal and as long as you are not blocking uh, the flow of pedestrians. So that's, that's another plus as well being in the car sometimes in the city you could be driving around for ages wasting time looking for a car park 
again that just drives me insane drains my life completely so another big pro another big plus you know and there's there is really no other way to travel again these are all my opinion these are all my thoughts of reasons why I like I like to ride why I love to ride all the pros I'm sure that you guys have other reasons I'd like to hear them actually so comment below if you um, if you've got a different opinion or you'd like to add something something positive maybe something I've missed or another reason why you like to ride so some of the cons for me is in this in the winter months and when the Sun goes down during daylight savings or out of daylight savings the Sun goes down and it's dark by 5.30 for that period of time over winter it is very very depressing for me I, I don't I don't like the cold I like the Sun I like the warmth maybe that's got something to do with my European background I don't know because I do know some people that, that like that time of the year that like to be in colder weather I don't like it and uh, and when I can't ride because of it raining or whatnot it, it's kind of depressing I mean, I've really learned to uh, to depend on my bike and when I don't ride it's yeah it's, it, it can be uh, it can be depressing not being able to ride so I don't know if you're like me but every opportunity that I can get when that sun is in the sky I'll be on my bike I'll get what I need to do done through the day and then plan just to get on and just to ride even if it's for an hour even if I've got nowhere to go as long as I am on the bike and I'm riding nothing else really matters and like I said earlier you just I just forget about what's going on in my head not that it's all bad because to be very honest I'm in a very good mind space at the moment and I think the bike does contribute to to being positive for me again just for me I, I don't know what it's like for you guys everybody has different reasons why they ride these are all reasons why I ride some more cons it is dangerous you're on two wheels as opposed to four and there's nothing around you there's no seat belts there's there's no doors but that kind of adds to the excitement you know it's it is dangerous but crossing the road in the city can be dangerous I, I, I know somebody that was that was crossing the road and was killed sadly it's just a, a risk that us riders are willing to take there's not a lot of cons to be honest there's no way near the amount of pros but when you're riding you see it all you see everything you see people on their mobile phones while they're driving you see people that really don't understand that uh, driving a vehicle is like holding a loaded gun in your hand you must be responsible with it you must be responsible do not take it for granted or anyone else around you so that makes me that makes me believe or have to have to think that everyone in their cars every every car around me is out to hit me I have to think that everybody is an idiot as, as harsh and, and as horrible as that sounds that's the way I have to think to be safe and stay safe not everyone sees you on the road not everybody sees the bike not everybody's paying attention not everybody's looking over their shoulder when they change lanes not everybody's doing the right thing so it just means that me personally I'm a lot more conscious about that I have to be she's riding in that Sun the Sun in my face is just so beautiful I guess we could put that down as a pro there's probably only a, a couple more cons um, as far as I'm concerned another one that comes to mind is 
the mods on on a Harley. They can be expensive. And me being the person that I am, I can't leave the bike alone. I have to constantly change things and constantly do things to it. It can it can be expensive. But sometimes it's not always expensive. There are, there are cheap little mods that aren't aren't that expensive. Another con comes to mind. Speeding. I feel if I'm not not always watching that speedo. It's not, um, it's not hard to speed. Just need to be very conscious about that. A bit different in the car, where you actually feel, you feel the momentum, or, I don't know what it is. It's a lot easier to speed on the bike, is what I'm trying to say. And if you're not watching that, that speedo, then uh, you're at risk. And it doesn't take much for uh, these, these bikes to get up there. It just does it so effort, effortlessly, so comfortably. That might have something to do with the revs, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what it is. In comparison to a car, you can really hear the, the engine working, so I mean, that, might, um, that might be the reason why you feel the speed that you're actually going. But me personally, I, I, you might see me, you might see my helmet dip, because I need to keep my eye on that speedometer all the time. Nobody likes to pay fines, nobody likes to lose demerit points. It's just a waste of, of money. Another pro I can add is um, the fundraisers that, we, uh, we, that we're involved in throughout the year. The money that we raise for, for people in need, that's very rewarding to actually have a ride with a purpose and know that you're helping somebody else that's that's another level again and the way it works is um, at the start of the rides we register, sign in, sign our names and we pay the registration fee sometimes it's $20, sometimes it's $10 depends on, on the different rides on the day and it doesn't happen it doesn't happen weekly, but there are probably four or five different charities that we fundraise for. I mean, as a club, we try and contribute as much as we can to those people that are running the rides, those kind of rides. Whether it be marshalling the rides, our club is, is renowned for the way we marshal rides. So they call upon us and we love it. We do it. The reputation of the club is amazing. It's, it's impeccable. We're just ordinary people with no other agendas but to ride with good friends and good company and good people around us. That's a beautiful thing. Absolutely is. So I think I've probably covered most of what's in my head in terms of pros and cons of why I like to ride and again I'm sure it's different for, for everybody I'd really like to hear your opinions so please comment below let me know let me know how it makes you feel how you feel when you ride why you ride what it does for you so I think on that note I'm gonna um, I'm gonna leave it there Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. Don't be afraid to, to hit that subscribe and that bell button to be notified whenever I, uh, I upload any kind of content. And hit like as well. No pressure. I really hope you've enjoyed my destination nowhere in particular <laughs> on the topic of pros and cons of why I ride personally myself. What a beautiful day. Alright guys, I think I'll leave it there. Once again, thank you very much for watching and listening. And just being part of 
part of the, the whole journey. For me personally, the vlogging journey, it's new to me. But I'd just like to share some positivity. And if, if I've helped anyone at all, or even convinced anyone to ride even, then I've won. And that's amazing. So future vlogs to look forward to, some vest presentations. We're we'll doing a we're doing a couple of those. There's somebody whistling at me. Probably. Um, some more modifications on the on this bike as well. I'll do some vlogs on that. I'll keep uh, keep everybody updated. And just whenever we we ride as a as a club, I'll I'll do vlogs on that as well. Try and share as much of that as I can with everybody. So it's not all about me, it's about us. Until next time my friends, please stay safe, please stay positive, stay upright, and take care. See you next time, bye for now.